Less morning has broken, more morning has soaken. Since every morning I have soaken or soaked my bed with perspiration. For this is the night sweats. This is the amount of sweat squeezed from the pillow of an ordinary sleeper. It's empty. This is the amount of sweat squeezed from my sheets after they were passed through a mangle. For I have the night sweats. But it's not just sweat I'm lying in. It's shame. I'm tired of waking up twizzled in damp duvet. Something needs to change. Hi. So, I've come to the blandly named West Sussex Sleep Clinic. After filling in a needlessly detailed questionnaire, it was time for Jim Jams and Watery Squash. These are my co-sleepers. Uh, Hi, Janet. Uh, they are amongst the worst sleepers in Britain. They are absolutely hopeless at it. But the chinwag of a glass of squash reminds us that we're not suffering alone. But our collective lack of sleep has rendered us all pretty irritable. Uh, Malcolm, there in the green sweater, thinks he's the bee's knees when he's not. Janet seems to think we want to know all about her. And Paul, stripy Paul, is sad because he's got a dead dog. I'm going to make my excuses before someone gets chinned. Back in my room, with my head sporting more cables and lights than my assistant's modem, I was ready. And so to sleep, perchance to sweat. Fascinating stuff, and I'm joined by the clinic's sleep disorder consultant, Dr Susan Lyle. Hello. 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 You took a peep at my sleep. What did you reap? OK, so, yes, reviewing that night, so we can see that you were really quite restless, yeah, and uh, quite fidgety here as well, but that's really very common, uh, especially mm. with light sleepers. Um, it's really the brain's <laughs> reluctance to enter into sleep mode. Busy, busy. Um, but it's also yeah, a sign of stress and anxiety as well, which we know can be a key cause of heavy nighttime perspiration. I'm just going to spool on. There's actually there's a, there's a moment coming up here which is is something I think you should see because what happens around about 1.30 is you enter something called stage four of NREM and it seems that the cause of your night sweats is actually a different condition. What? I think what we're seeing here is parvor nocturnus uh, or night terrors. Oh my god. The last time my legs flailed like that was in a tent during an altercation with what I can only describe as a very big bee. So what, what sort of thing do you have nightmares about? What scares you? Um, so you've not been involved in anything traumatic or upsetting? Uh, I recently abseiled down the side of the Shard for charity. What? When? Uh, or was that a dream? Uh, I was doing it for the RSPCA. So yeah, yeah, so yeah it must have been a dream. dream. It must yeah. have been a yeah. dream. It's very disturbing. Don't want to talk about him anymore. Uh, tell me about you. You. Uh, you work at the clinic where I went, but I didn't see you. Oh, no, but I, I could see you on the monitor. Ah. Uh, well, I've worked there for uh, 12 years, so uh, yes, I've watched thousands of people sleeping. Right, do you enjoy it? <laughs> yes, I love it. It's very rewarding. Right, and um, why? Um, well, something about observing patients as they sleep. I feel like I'm a, a guardian angel, you know, watching mm. over them, <laughs> protecting them. Uh, but how are you protecting them? Uh, well, in that they're in my charge, um, so I, I could harm them, but I choose not to. Um, so I suppose in that regard I'm, I'm protecting them from the darker side of, of human nature that is within us all. <sighs> Susan, great having you on the show. I don't have any more questions. Simon, do you? No. Good. I'm going to let you yeah, go. I'm happy to talk nah. more. You don't want me to stay for the phone? Nah. Anymore? Instead, uh, let's talk to viewers and ask, what do you dream about? The lines are open, so tell us what you ponder in the land of Nod.